Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer and welcome to my daily 5 p.m. video. Thank you for tuning in. Now, I highly recommend you subscribe because a lot is about to happen over the next day for Silver and I'm going to keep you in the loop, but I'm also doing a 47k giveaway, which is right around the corner. Uh, so if you want a chance to win some free Silver, Click that subscribe button, click the bell so you won't miss the entry video. Also, be careful, there's a lot of Silver Slayer impersonators in my comments. I'm never going to ask you to text some WhatsApp number or any of that. They're trying to scam you, so be careful. Now, the link to this article, well, actually a couple of articles we have, are, are, they'll be in the description. And it's talking about the FOMC meeting, Federal Chairman Jerome Powell, and how this affects Silver. Now, we always know, we always pay attention to these types of, of meetings because it affects silver dramatically so we have a lot to pay attention to and, and a lot has been happening week by week so you know th that's another reason why you got to be subscribed because right now every single week there's something new with basil 3 the fomc whatever's going on it's going to affect silver in some type of way now this one is going to be more influential than most and that's why we got to pay so, you know so close attention to it so Silver prices edged higher on Monday as the U.S. dollar fell against most major currencies. This comes ahead of the U.S. Federal Reserve's monetary policy meeting amid anticipation of more clues about the pace of U.S. inflation and future of interest rates, right? I mean, we got to know about this stuff. So the Fed meeting will launch Tuesday and will continue to Wednesday. So we have until tomorrow, uh, you know, to, to see the outcome of this. And that's when prices are really going to start moving either upwards or downwards. And this is expectations of holding the benchmark interest rate near zero and will be followed by a press conference from Fed Chair, uh, Chief Jerome Powell. And I, I, li I like Jerome Powell more than, you know, some of the other, uh, you know, people that have that announced things because he is more realistic. I remember a couple of months ago, someone stepped up and said some stuff and then he came on afterwards was like, whoa, 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 hold on, slow down. Like. It, it, they, they were exaggerating a little bit. So major U.S. companies will start announcing their second quarter business results this week, led by Tesla, Apple, Facebook, and Amazon. Efforts to contain this situation are continuing around the world, especially after the emergence uh, of the new highly spreading Delta variant in some countries. The dollar index fell against a basket of major currencies by 0.3% to 92.6, and that's after hitting a high of 92.9 and a low of 92.5. So silver price rose 0.1%, $25.20 an ounce, with a day high of $25.50. So right now, uh, it's looking like silver is sitting at $24.81. It rebounded around this $24.50, and that might be a little bit of this speculation right now. And all of it, it is all speculative right now until tomorrow, and that's what we're going to see. Now, right, let's go back to that, actually. So let's look at, like, the, the one week. So you can see a huge decline right here. $24.50 seems to be a lot of the, let's go to the one month as well. So, yeah, it's looking like, you know, that was stable at 26. But right now, this could be the, the you know, the, the bottom, especially with this information coming out of the next day or so. It, it could just push it up higher. And, and since there is some stability around 26, I couldn't imagine it going much lower, as, as you can see right here. And this article right here is going to explain it even better than I just did. So. Silver price, what to expect with Fed interest rate decision in focus. So we kind of just went over when it's going to happen, what, everything about that. But now we're going to get into the meat and potatoes. So silver, the, the price has been range bound between $25 and $25.47 for a week now. Investors are keen on the Fed meeting scheduled to present its decision on Wednesday. Treasury yields, which have declined by 6.4% on Friday, have boosted their silver price, right? And, and I like how they, they did mention investors are keen on the Fed meeting, right? A lot of investors everywhere, not just precious metals. Everyone is looking at this right now. And, and speculation is, is very influential, but also very scary and important to look at. Because right now, nothing has really been announced. 
but people are assuming, they're guesstimating, they're, they're speculating, right? Fear, uncertainty, doubt, all that stuff is what's changing the market and probably why silver's bouncing right here. But nobody knows anything yet. So this is all just from people assuming. Now, treasury yields, which have declined by 6.4% Friday, have boosted silver prices. So uh, silver prices and range bound ahead of the Fed meeting later this week. It remains below the crucial level of $25.50 while getting a boost from the declining Treasury yields. So Fed interest rate decision. Investors looking to invest into silver and other precious metals have their eye focused on the Fed interest rate decision. The event, which is scheduled for Wednesday afternoon, will avail further clues on the timing of the expected tapering of bond purchases and the overall tightening of its policy. So tomorrow I'm obviously going to cover this or, you know, something along this line uh, and, and I'll be talking about what happened or, or what played out. So make sure you're subscribed and, and click the bell because, you know, there's going to be a lot happening, whether it's for the better or for the worse. I'm going to cover it regardless. So U.S. bond yields, the declining Treasury yields have boosted the silver price. So the benchmark 10 year Treasury yields were down by 3.76% at 1.23 and its current level is a drop from friday's high at 1.31 which equates to decline and that's notably the five and 30 year uh, u.s bond yields um so it's talking about all these after hitting a high blah 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 so here's the technical outlook for silver i know this is what you want to this this is the stuff you want to look at so silver price is still trading below the crucial resistance level of 25 dollars and 50 cents and that's a crucial resistance level, as you can see, because look at this right here. Let's go to like the one month. See, so you can see right here, it's been around $26, uh, but $25.50 is critical for it to break above or it's going to stay in this range here. Let's go like the three month. As you can see, it started to build some, you know, some stability and then it dropped. Now, here's where it has to try to break above. Or as you can see right here, if it didn't break above this, it drops and stays at this level. And the same thing will happen again. It will drop and stay at this level. Um, so, yeah, it's important that it breaks above this. And what's happening tomorrow could definitely make that happen. So uh, for a week now, it has been within a rather tight range of between $25 and $25.47. Um, and at the time of writing, it has been up 0.37% at $25.26 on a two-hour chart. So in the near term, the precious metal is likely to remain within horizontal channel. And if the bulls manage to push the price past the channel's upper border, they'll have cleared the path of $25.50. And subsequently, the next target range will probably be $25.71. On the flip side, a move below the channel uh, and, and that's below the psychological level of 25. We'll have the bears eyeing last week's low of $24.75. So, yeah, I mean, and I like how they said the psychological level because a lot of this is all just perception, right? How people perceive things is huge. And it's kind of scary because right now, we, since we're in crazy times, everyone's looking at things kind of, you know, glass half empty. They're, they're looking at things you know, more severe and rightfully so. I mean, there's, you know, there's a lot happening and that definitely plays a part in, in silver prices because that's how people invest. If you perceive something a certain way, that's going to affect your decision making, right? Just like if you're someone who's very panicky, has a lot of worrying, anxiety, do you think you're going to have the same type of results and outcome and strategy as someone who's very cool, calm, collect, plays it cool, doesn't work? Do you think you got those two people who are extreme opposites are going to have the same type of strategy or, or make the same decisions? No, because one person is cool, right? They're, they're playing it cool. They're not they're not over analyzing anything. They're not overthinking anything. And the other person is very, you know, very antsy. And, and that person tends to make more irrational decisions, impulse buying, panic selling, all of that. So yes, there is a psychological level. And if it breaks below that, you'll see a lot of people doing some very irrational things. And, and that's also why I say, 
make sure you're, you you detach yourself emotionally from these markets, especially with something like silver that is so volatile, that is so exaggerated, right? I call it gold on steroids because it's just wild. It's going to go up crazier and down crazier. And for a lot of people, that can drive them crazy. And that's also why the day-to-day -day prices are, are, are essentially irrelevant unless you're selling or trading, I guess, because... And you shouldn't be doing any of those anyways. Buy silver right now. It's it's definitely on sale. It's it's for a cheap price. It could be the last time we'll ever see prices like this. If you look at all the forecasts for the end of 2021, they're all looking at 30, 40, some even $50. So if, you know, and we're already halfway past the year. So if in, you know, the next four three, four, five months, we're going to start seeing silver head towards $30, maybe even a little above. I can guarantee by the start of 2022, we're not going to see it break back down. It would probably just head to mid 35 and, and go from there. But since that could be the case, and a lot of people respect, you know, respectable people are saying that, and I mean, the, the information the you know, what we see happening does show that more than it's more than likely, then this will literally be the last chance we ever get to pay this mid $20 silver price, right? I, I can guarantee in a couple of years, we'll be wishing we could go back in time and pay $25 for an ounce of silver, just like we could, we, we wish we could go back in time and pay $15 for an ounce of silver, just like the people that wish they can go back in time and pay you know, $1,200 for an ounce of bit or for, for a Bitcoin, right? You don't want to be kicking yourself in the butt. Take advantage of this right now because most people will be buying silver at $50 because when it hits 50, that's when all the articles, all the YouTube videos, everyone's going to be talking about it. And that's when everyone starts to buy it. But we have a, we have a unique situation where we already know about silver see most of them they will never have a chance to buy at this price because they don't know they won't find out about silver until it's until it is 50 until it's too late but we know about it right now so we have that jump ahead so take advantage of it because a lot of people will be jealous of us knowing that we knew about silver before it exploded so anyways um so yeah so what do you think about this are you going to be paying attention to the fomc meeting and and also, do you have do you have positions in, in anything else besides just silver in your portfolio or even something else besides just gold? Is it platinum, palladium, copper? Is it nickel? Is it stocks? Do you have, you know, positions in Tesla stocks, Amazon? Um, you know, is it Bitcoin? What else do you invest? Is it real estate? I, I am curious. I love when you all participate in these videos, um, especially when some of you know some other some other angles to to play and that could spark some some discussion and maybe open open the door for something else or, or for someone else to take another to take another path because yes silver is the safest smartest investment but since we're looking at such a long time frame and we should be before we're selling i mean we shouldn't be selling for you know at least five years i'm doing 15 something like that but since we're not planning on selling for so long, you could still dive into new things. I mean, and we're investors, right? We are investors, which means we look for opportunity investing in things that we see potential in understanding the markets and the profit from. Now, yes, silver is more of a hedge. That's more of our backbone, but it doesn't mean that we can't get into other things, right? I mean, that's why I learned about cryptocurrency in 2016 for that same reason. A lot of times you can use the profits from these other investments and then reinvest in the precious metals. So, yeah, if you do have positions in anything else, I would love to know about it. Even if it is stocks, which stock? How has it been going for you? How long have you been investing? You know, if it's crypto, which cryptos do you like and why? You know, if it's real estate, how, you know, what's your play on that? What do you think about the housing market, you know, et cetera. I think this would be a cool way to, to end the video, especially in the comment section, seeing all of the different things you guys, you know, you guys have to offer because a lot of you know a lot more than me and not just silver. You guys know a lot more than me in stocks, real estate, because I don't know anything in real estate, essentially. I would love to, but, you know, regardless, I want my videos to be, teachable and i want you all to have a platform to share your knowledge your advice your two cents your insight as well so yeah i'm gonna wrap this video up here like i said 
I'm doing a 47K giveaway, and we are very, very close. We are right around the corner, which is crazy because I just sent out the silver to the winners of my 46K giveaway. And yes, I picked two winners. And that's just crazy that as soon as I send out that winner, you know, those two winners, their prize, I'm about to send out some more silver to, to two other people. You know, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. I, I appreciate all the support on this channel. I'm going to keep making content. The next video will be posted at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard tonight. So make sure you tune in. It's not going to be a video direct in this sense of, uh, of you know, just talking about the FOMC and silver prices. It's going to be a different type of video. I don't like to make a lot of the same type of content in a row. I like to switch it up. I've been making some very interesting videos lately. Go check those out. So anyways, yeah, this is Silver Slayer. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys soon. Peace.